Hello everyone. I'm sorry for the delay. I got many requests to brief about my Arduino crush separation project and, uh, and I am going to elaborate about the project. Okay, this is the 3D model of the project and uh, uh, this is how I assembled all the parts. Now for the project I mainly used captive and metal proximity sensor and these two will function everything and for determining the trash volume inside the trash bin I have used IR sensors but it's totally optional for you. Uh, you will be needed two metal proximity sensors and one captive sensor. Now about the circuit connection uh, you have to find the brown, blue and the black wire in both uh, metal and proximity metal and captive sensor the brown is vcc which will be connected with the 6 to 24 volt then uh, the blue will be the ground pin and uh, black will be the signal input for you for higher distance sensor it's pretty easier all you have to remember is uh, yolo is your signal input uh, but you have to remember that captive and metal sensors cannot operate without with the Arduino's 5 volt power supply. So you have to use a separate uh, power supply which should be a 6 to 24 volt. Also you have to remember that Arduino, Arduino uh, input cannot be more than 5 volt. So uh, you have to drop the voltage using some resistors or you can use uh, a DC to DC converter that will work fine and uh, all the grounds must be connected together it's very important actually and uh, I will also recommend uh, to, to give a separate power supply for the servo motors because if the load is more the Arduino uh, cannot handle the uh, handle the servo motor for the logic gate uh, it's uh, actually pretty simple uh, if the metal sensor is high only then uh, the metal charge bin will open and metal sensor can only detect metal but uh, you have to remember that captive sensor can uh, detect any object both metal and the plastic so for uh, determining the plastic you have to use two sensor one should be metal sensor one captive sensor if the metal sensor is low and the captive sensor is high that will say that uh, that's a plastic so using this simple logic you can uh, use, make this project and uh, for the code uh, I will go through the code first first you have to include some libraries uh, I have used Arduino Ace and Barton Ace. Then uh, you have to define all the pin. Here I have defined the IR pin, then uh, the pins for the uh, RGB light, then pin for all the sensors, plastic, metal, two metal sensor. Then you also uh, have to initiate the uh, servo motor. Then uh, I have find the servo motor position if it is 165 and 158 that's perfect. That's why I have uh, initiated these two positions. Then in void setup you have to set all the uh, RGB output which one is output which one is input and uh, for the sensors you have to use input pull up that's, that will give a, a fine uh, input then uh, you have to set the um, uh, RGB lights uh, to 55 means that there will be no uh, light output there then in the voice loop, void loop you have to uh, read all the sensor data first uh, here first the plastic sensor then metal sensor then fire sensor then uh, what I have done here the plastic in the plastic pane I have used this logic. This logic says if the uh, captive sensor, this is captive sensor data, plastic sensor data is equal to 0 and uh, metal sensor is not equal to 1 at the time the 
servo should open only when the metal sensor is because it's in uh, NPN sensor the when it detects something it will give you a zero volt and uh, for uh, metal sensor uh, it it should not be one it means it's zero because it's PNP PNP sensor then if, if it is on at the time it will open the servo then uh, you will find uh, the I have put the light on then if uh, for the checking the volume of the trash if a, a volume is full it will put a red light here then uh, the servo will go to its uh, uh, de uh, default position uh, then in the metal trash bin I have used if just the metal is one then it should be open the servo motor then uh, also to switch the light into blue then I have uh, just initiate also in the metal trash bin if the volume is full it should put the red light and uh, that's all then the servo should go it's to its default position that's all and then I think you can use the code and make your own project all the best thank you